it's crazy where you see yourself having all of these skincare routines spending so much money and none of it is working and you're having bumpy textures that you don't like and you're wondering what is it that you're doing wrong so guys in this video i'm gonna give you the 10 step routine not your regular 10 step routine to use because that's what you're literally doing and nothing is working for you <laughs> hey my loves welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naomi of Fuedu. how you are doing today if you're a new subscriber hey my love welcome and welcome back i am so in awe and i'm so happy to make this video because as you all know even my friends from instagram you know how much i love to have a clear skin and you know how much i love that every girl Skin is literally looking like this you don't even need makeup you don't even need anything to get your skin looking like this I'm gonna get you every tip you need to get rid of your textured skin and you always know that I'm a skin enthusiast and that is why I always want to talk about skin this is a little bit different from all of my videos but then you're gonna be seeing a little little tips of skincare this how to take care of your skin once in a while in my video yes guys so let's get into the video so the first one I always tell people is the first one is to double cleanse and when double cleansing yeah you have to understand how your skin works what is your skin giving you how is your skin working for you like you would see yourself literally doing all of these things you have the best toners you literally see yourself having the best serums you see yourself having the best serums moisturizers and then nothing is working and then you're like what exactly is happening is because you're not cleansing properly i need to understand that you have to cleanse properly because especially when you know you um you've made up and you're back and then you're not cleansing and what you're just using is just wipes i'm sorry there's still remnants of the makeup there and this would actually clog your skin and once your skin pores are clogged that leads to blackhead that leads to inflammation I'm sorry guys that leads to blackhead that leads to inflammation that leads to white heads and all of those things leads to textured skin so you do not want that happening to you so what i actually use first i think i've showed you guys on here is my salicylic acid cleanser and one thing about salicylic acid cleansers is that it actually helps to exfoliate like it exfoliates so much thereby exposing my pores and cleaning out my pores properly and i want you to understand that why i double cleanse is to be able to remove any extra dirt because i don't know if you see some people when they double cleanse once they double clean sorry when they cleanse only once and then they put their toner and they're trying to remove their toners they notice dirt so it's so good to always double cleanse your skin and i use the salicylic acid um cerave by cerave here so after cleansing i also take my based on if your skin is very sensitive and after cleansing maybe you're feeling a bit you know you what i use next for double cleansing is my hydrating foaming cleanser it's also by cerave so that one just tends to hydrate and prep my skin for other toners and serums to be able to you know work hand in hand once you're applying your cerave once you're done with that so you guys will just rinse it off and let your skin dry the second one guys i always tell you guys is that i feel like let me give you the key to getting rid of a bumpy skin the key to getting rid of a bumpy skin is to exfoliate i'm telling you guys that's the literal key exfoliation takes your skin from a rough to a smooth skin now when you're exfoliating the second one i tell you guys is to exfoliate properly i don't mean exfoliate with a scrub i don't mean maybe those sandy scrub or anything what I use is the peeling solution by The Ordinary. So this peeling solution contains a whole lot of content. And like I said, you always want to have um, products that literally contains 
salicylic acid because salicylic acid is a very strong skin exfoliant that helps with textured skin like i am telling you it helps so much with textured skin it helps with pore congestions it even helps to remove whiteheads itself without even tending to do anything so it's more like a chemical peel now this ordinary as a chemical peel or should i say a chemical peeling solution so you're not going to be using it every time please please and please do not use it every time so after you cleanse that is when you're going to use it you can use it every saturday of the week so after you cleanse you just apply that and once you apply that you let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you wash off this also contains glycolic acid lactic acid tartaric acid which also helps for surface exfoliation so after applying your CeraVe cleansers do your double cleansing that is when you're going to apply this peeling solution guys the next thing is your toner now you don't want to buy any sort of toner you want to buy a toner that contains salicylic acid you want to buy a toner that contains willow back extract anything that's just gentle on the skin please guys get a pore zero toner or toner that targets pores and any toner that contains willow back extra because it also helps with um pore congestion and once you're doing that please don't try to use any cutting pads because you're trying to you know get a textured skin you're not trying to like clog it more so don't try to like you know do a cutting pads and all of that you want to tap it with your hand like this jigged you want to tap it like this on your skin as you're tapping it that is penetrating directly into your skin pores because so you don't want to be doing feeling like you're doing the right thing then you're doing the wrong process do you understand you have all the right products but you're doing the wrong pr processes the next one i always advise is use serums what i advise most times the type of serums i advise is niacinamide serums now niacinamide serum is known for poor health care and all of those things it's known for discoloration it's known for hyperpigmentation it's known for a whole lot of things so you would want to use a niacinamide serum that would take care of your poor health and in as much as you've done your cleansers you've done your lactic acid your peeling solutions you would want a niacinamide because it's not going to help to maintain your pore health take care of those pores and take care of everything around it reducing blemishes also so you want to use that what it does is that when your skin has a weakened barrier it has inflammation when your skin is inflamed premature aging when there's redness rough skin texture what niacinamide does is that it smoothens it brightens and it also hydrates and balances your skin that is why i'm telling you guys niacinamide is a good serum especially when you have textured skins like this you would want to use niacinamide so guys my next one is that when you're getting the proper niacinamide you can get the ordinary niacinamide and you can get the good molecules so once you're done applying your peeling solution you would apply your niacinamide serums tap in please please and please don't use your dirty hands rinse off when you're done after each step then tap in or maybe you you did something just tap in that my contact bacteria just tap into your skin like that so the next one i always tell my ladies or my guys or everybody here the next one is moisturize and have the right moisturizer so the right moisturizer when you're having a textured skin is cerave why did i say cerave in your cerave moisturizing lotion there is <laughs> salicylic acid yes guys we all know what what salicylic does to a texture skin so you would want to use a CeraVe moisturizing lotion to be able to eradicate the few things in as much as your processes are due the moisturizer now helps to lock in also moistures and hydrate your skin and once your skin starts hydrating you know that it's going to look very moist and it's not going to be looking like it's dying out of dehydration or hydrating and you know that one thing that salicylic acid does it helps 
exfoliate your skin and also avoid acne so guys you would want to tend to get the cerebe moisturizing lotion which works very 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 good it's one of the best in the market so the last point is i know you guys are gonna get it for me spfs sunscreen is like the literally sunscreen should be your best friend i'm telling you the truth sunscreens should be your best you know that once you're using actives and once you're using like bha aha salicylic acid all of those things you already know that it's already deep inside your pores so the thing you want to avoid is you having to do all those processes and damaging your skin you want to avoid skin damage you want to avoid the sunlight from damaging your skin because now once you're going out there with those actives your pores are open everything's open like you literally have a lot of actives into your skin pores and the sunlight is not a friend to the skin when it comes to actives against the sun sun rays and sunlight it is going to cause a whole lot of inflammation you don't want to expose your skin more because of how you've exfoliated your skin you know due to the processes you've taken so guys what i advise is when you're selecting your sunscreens please select a sunscreen that is above 50 plus factor and above i don't understand why you want to be using 30 plus spf when you're trying to get a more you know smooth skin and untextured skin so try guys try if possible to get a moisturizer we have the la roche per se we have the black girl moisturizer what i use is the skin aqua because i love the hydration and how it tends to sit on my skin and giving me a glass skin so guys you guys always need to inculcate the habit of sunscreen please sunscreen i know the hours at which you're going to reapply because sun damage is like the greatest cause for redness, for texture, for bumpy skin, for inflammation, for, you know, it's crazy. Like it can literally damage your skin in a second. That's why you want to avoid that. So these are the steps, guys, on how to get rid of that texture skin you have right now. And I hope that this point I gave literally helped you out and take some few steps. If you know that you were making a little bit of a mistake, but you literally have everything I mentioned here, please, guys, correct yourself right now and get rid of that bumpy skin. There is something that you're doing wrong in as much as they have those products regardless so guys thank you so much for watching my video to the end and this video is a video to also help you so much because you also want to reduce the way you wear makeup outside and you would love to have confidence in your skin so do the steps and thank me later so guys i've come to the end of my video i love you guys so much thank you all and my new subscribers thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video i love you all so much Mwah. bye